Hi friends, it's Lex with Getaway Today. Thanks so much for joining us on our YouTube channel where we share the best tips, tricks, and deals for your next vacation. Um, today we are joined by our contact Kristen from the Catalina Express. We absolutely love working with Kristen and the Catalina Express and today we're going to look at seven things you can do on Catalina Island with the Catalina Express. First off, Catalina Express is your transportation to and from the island. So tell me a little bit about that, Kristen. Where do you drop off, everything like that? Perfect, all right, so Catalina Express actually operates from San Pedro, Long Beach, and Dana Point. So your closest terminal to Anaheim, at least for guesting in the resort area, is going to be Long Beach. We have up to 30 daily departures, especially more so in the summertime. It takes about an hour to get to the island, and then the world is your oyster. That's so great. And then they were also telling us they operate year round. It's not just during the summer. Correct, yes, every single day of the year, even on holidays. So whenever That's you want to awesome. go to the island, we'll take you. That is so great. That kind of brings us into our next thing that we love. Not only does Catalina Express offer the transportation, they offer some package tours with us. So um, the first one is the Avalon City Tour. So tell us a little bit about that. Exactly. So as soon as you get to the island, once you've taken our boat transportation, you can hop on the Avalon City Tour. So it's about 50 minutes and it's a wonderful tour that takes you around the city of Avalon and it gives you a little bit of history about the Wrigley family and the history of the island, but it also takes you up to the Vista Point where you can get the picture perfect view of the harbor and obviously you'll want to take that photo put it on Instagram so of course definitely something to check out and that's such an awesome starting point because Christian was telling me that Avalon itself is only about one square mile so you can kind of reach everything by foot so if you take that first that's a really good starting point kind of get an overview of everything you want to see exactly and the third thing you can do on Catalina Island is the undersea expedition tour with Catalina Express so Tell me about that. Yes, yeah, so the undersea expedition tour is actually a semi-submersible submarine. So everyone getting on this little 45 minute <laughs> tour has their own porthole. So you have your own little window, what have you, and the captain will drive the submarine around to a small cove, he'll throw some fish food out the top, and all of a sudden you're just swarmed with fish. Uh, That's basically so yeah. swarming around the submarine. <laughs> it's like a real life Finding Nemo tour, if you think of it that way. So you That's can see so all cool. the bright uh, orange Garibaldi, maybe there's a sea turtle. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much whatever is living in the kelp forest at the time when you drive by. That's so cool. Our fourth favorite thing to do on Catalina Island has to be the casino tour. So tell us a little bit about that, more like how there's not really gambling. Explain yes. kind of that. Okay, so the word casino actually mm -hmm. means gathering place in Italian. So the Wrigley family built it back in the 1920s as a place for people to gather. So the top floor is this beautiful ballroom, no pillars, and they used to invite the big bands back from the 20s and 30s over to the island, and people would dance the night away. And the bottom floor is actually the stunning theater. And the mural in the inside of the theater was actually painted by the same gentleman who did the Grauman's Chinese Theater. So you that can imagine amazing. how elegant it is. There's even real gold on the ceiling. They were showing pictures during our training today, and it's fantastic. I want to go just for the casino tour. I mean, I want to go for everything, but just those pictures alone, it's beautiful. Yes, yeah, the art deco in that mm -hmm. building is really very masterly um, done, I guess you could say, and it's still intact from the 1920s. That's so cool. And then the next tour, you guys have a zipline eco tour with the Catalina yes. Express. So Right, so you can package your boat transportation with a mm -hmm. zipline tour, and it just like what it sounds, there's five routes that you get harnessed in and you're kind of zipping over the canopies of the eucalyptus trees that we have in the canyon, but you have the beautiful view of the ocean right there next to the beach. Great and I think view. one of the zip lines is actually 300 feet high. So that, it's definitely, definitely for those thrill seekers Yeah, definitely there. more of an adventure. Yes. And then with that, you can probably see you also, Catalina Island, if you don't know, has buffalo on it, which is mm -hmm. kind of fun. They're not ind indigenous, but Want to tell more about that too? Correct, yeah. So actually in the 1920s, a Western feature film was shot out on Catalina mm -hmm. Island and the production company took out maybe 10 to 12 buffalo out there to film the movie and then they left them there because they decided it was <laughs> yeah. too much work to herd them <laughs> together to take them back to the mainland. So now they've multiplied and so there's probably over 100 buffalo on the island and uh, yeah, you can go check them out on some off-roading tours. Mm -hmm. But it's really, really interesting to see the nature out there. That brings us into our next thing. So for number six, after you take the Catalina Express to get to Catalina Island, there's a lot of non-tour options, just kind of exploring you can do. What are some of your favorite things? I would definitely say renting a golf cart is probably my favorite thing. You can explore at your own leisure. The misconception is that you need a golf cart to 
really get around the city of Avalon and the Catalina mm -hmm. Island, but you don't. It's completely walkable by foot, so think of renting a golf cart as its own activity. Maybe rent it by the hour. The rental company will actually also give you a map so you can look at your map and kind of make a, your way around the city that way. Um, and it's just that. really fun, really great option. And then you can also obviously do the typical water activities. You can rent snorkel gear, kayaks, stand up paddle boards, pedal boats. Um, hiking is a really popular activity out there in Catalina. Again, gorgeous again. The nature, mm -hmm. exactly. Um, you can rent bikes. I mean, there's just really anything. a number yeah. of things. You could spend a day, you could spend multiple days on Catalina Island, you could, really. Yeah. So, um, and then what was really neat, if you heard, if you were interested in renting a golf cart, if you were a little bit scared, Avalon City doesn't have any uh, traffic lights because no. it's just golf carts, right? Exactly. Maybe one or two cars, but. It's very safe. Avalon's only one square mile. Everything's completely walkable. Um, you know, even the residents, very few of them have cars. The waiting list to get a car out there is probably 20 to 30 years. So that is crazy. Trust me, you're fine on yeah, foot good. <laughs> and maybe a golf cart if you want to explore a little bit. Perfect. And then our last thing, of course, to do on Catalina Island with Catalina Express is to save. So when you book with Getaway today, you're guaranteed to get the best price and best service. We have a great relationship. We love working with Kristen and all the team at Catalina Express. Um, and what's great, once you buy your vouchers with us, you just have to give them a call at least three days in advance. But if you're going in the summer, probably even sooner, uh, especially those ones with tours. So just so you can pick your best time and everything, set which pier you want to go from, everything like that. So if you have any questions on booking those, just look down below. We'll make sure to link that in the description with all the specials. And thanks again for joining us on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe for all the best tips and tricks for your next Southern California vacation. Thanks, guys. Thanks.